About 300 years ago, the English poet Alexander Pope wrote a poem and the conclusion he came to after discussing the nature of man in many verses, the conclusion he came to was this. Man, he says, is the glory, the joke, and the riddle of the earth. Man is the glory, the jest is the word he used, but it means joke, the glory, the jest, and the riddle of the earth. Now that really isn't an answer to the question of what is man. It is in a sense a restatement of that question. But it is nevertheless quite a good analysis of what we call the human condition. <clears throat> man is the glory of the earth because of his achievements, his attainments, his ability to, to do things uh, that are way beyond the capacity of any other creatures uh, living here upon earth. Uh, he is the glory of the earth, therefore, but he is also the jest or joke of the earth because of his failures, because of the miserable failure uh, that he has in organising his own life, in organising his national life, in dealing with conflicts and so on. A man is a mess. And we only have to read a daily newspaper to discover how true that is, or watch the television news. And so man is a, a riddle. He, he is a big question mark because of the inconsistency between his achievements on the one hand and his failures on the other. And we have to recognise that that condition of humanity can be traced back to Adam and Eve. There are many people who do not believe in Adam and Eve. They think they are mythological and they think that the Bible's narrative is simply a, an ancient myth but, you know, we can't understand the nature of man without taking seriously the fact that Adam and Eve were real people who truly lived and who were made in the image of God, but who then disobeyed God and rebelled against God and fell into sin. Uh, this is the true nar narrative of the human race and it is the narrative of the biblical message, of the Christian message that the Lord Jesus Christ came into this world to seek and to save those who were lost because of Adam's disobedience. Now that's the beginning of another big story so I'll leave it there. But that is the condition of human nature and the answer lies in the Bible.